Hello everyone. There's a question I would like to ask. Is the Nigerian police using the name Chinasa or Chinaza to demonize Igbos? You know in Nigeria, when you see somebody's name, you will be able to roughly estimate what part of the country they are for. I've always said, honestly, if I have the powers, Nigerians will start using generic names officially or just numbers. Because the fact that just from your name, somebody can already start profiling you or one thing or the other. But anyway, let me stay back on the story. So a few days ago, of course, the Nigeria police came out with some drone and everything. I even did a video on it. You can go check it on my, on my channel. And they said they were, they were going to fight a kidnapping. They were set up. Just a few days hour, uh, later, or maybe even hours later, they have suddenly arrested a notorious kidnapper in Abuja. This notorious kidnapper, the person's name is Chinaza Philip. And Randy, okay, he had some guns, they had three guns on him. The kidnappers that are, and terrorists that are busy showing us their whole ammunition, sophisticated ammunition, AK-47 and all of that, is that the one that these people are bringing out to show a Chinaza Philip? And these terrorists and uh, kidnappers, terrorist kidnappers, they are all one and same. They have a certain features, which is different from what we're seeing, this person that they said they are arrested. But hey, in a few days, you know, they came out to do that. Then they were, that's where the controversy started all over from. Apparently, the name Chinaza Philip has been used so many times by the police. Let me look up some of these uh, times that they, they have been used. So, like, so people when I say, ah, uh ah, -uh, is there any time that police want to cook up something? They will not say, Chinasa, Philip. And I think apparently the way the name goes, it doesn't rhyme because there are some people who are more familiar with Igbo names and they are saying that that name doesn't rhyme the way, whether it's female or that it's male, I don't know. But in 2019, in October 2019, there was a Chinaza Philip, this time female, that they say whose mother, Mrs. Chinaza Philip. So the, the daughter is Chinaza with a Z. The mother is Chinaza Philip. That the mother used her account in Lagos to defraud ladies she had promised to procure traveling documents for them. So that's that, right? Then again, in 20, I think this was 2022 August, there was also another report of a Chinasa. But this time, I think it wasn't, the Philip wasn't there. This Chinasa had something, uh, another name, right? And so that, oh, and, and what was this, the, this whole thing? Then in Lagos, I sent to Kirikiri prison for burning Oyibo, Lagos BRT bus terminus. Then this one that the police force put out uh, yesterday, it says the FCT arrest of Abuja notorious kidnapper Chinaza Philip. It says the FCT police command wishes to confirm the arrest of one Chinaza Philip, a notorious Abuja kidnapper by police operatives of the Kaduna State Police Command on Thursday, 18th January 2024. The suspect has been handed over, blah, 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 blah. And then they showed this person with this three. So you're wondering what is going on. And then, immediately the, bro the news was breaking. There were a lot of handles that were putting out, of course, putting out the father. Oh, this is Chinasa, you know, the ethnicity, Igbo, and whatever. Then this person, Bashir Ahmed, on his Twitter handle, he said, the Nigerian police force successfully arrested a well-known Abuja kidnapper. Well-known. When I know this kidnapper, I bet me put him for now. Uh, Chinaza Philip, while he was transporting his latest victim, Shegun Akiyemi, to a hideout along Abuja Kaduna. Great job by the police force. That's what he said. I was waiting for him to now, for me to see another tweet that we say the, the policeman that now discovered it is a me inua, don't ungua. So that we could come and have the wazobia complete in the circle. <laughs> propaganda. There are a lot of things that go on hidden, you know, putting it 
putting it out there that brings this bigotry, that ensures this bigotry, this hatred that is directed to a certain tribe. So the question I ask once again, is the Nigerian police using the name Chinasa, Chinaza? Are they using it to continue, to continue to bring bigotry on the Igbo tribe? The Nigerian police needs to answer. I'm interested in knowing.